coming up on this episode of Let's Play Kotar. Well, why would you be better than, say, an armored battle droid? Yeah, Bebop, Mr. HKB. What makes you think you're better than me, huh, bitch? Bebop. Disclosure. Finish. Make way, make way, hood rich customer coming through, lots of money baby, wonder which one of these droids is the translator, hmm, that one looks a little menacing. Ahem, <clears throat> how you doing Mr. Yukalaka? What is this? Customer I don't recognize? Perhaps you bring off world money to Yukalaka? Off world money? <laughs> what do you have available in your shop buddy? You are lucky to have come at this time. I have one droid ready to go. I just took possession of it. An HK-47. It is a fine protocol translator. I think it's been modified. It claims to understand the Sand People dialect and also has some armor mounts. Combat ready, perhaps? Combat ready and it's a translator? I guess he's talking about that thing over there. It can translate sand people dialect too. That's got to be the droid that that hippie was talking about. Well, I'm looking for exotics. Something called a star map. And you haven't heard that from anyone. You got it? I deal mostly in soup parts and droid maintenance. Hmm. Maybe I heard a Jawa mutter something about old things. But I could have misheard. They cover very large areas when they scavenge, but aren't doing much right now. Mm, the Jawas are definitely the people to talk to if we want to find the exact location of the star map. Did the Jawas bring you this HK-47, I think he called it? No, they keep assembled or working units to sell themselves. They don't have them often. No place to store them. Mostly they bring parts. There's the occasional antique, old blasters and the like. Tatooine has a few buried secrets. Hmm, a few buried secrets, I'm sure. What's stopping the Jawas from scavenging? Again, I may have misunderstood, but I think some of their tribe mates are missing. I think they wanted help. I stay away from trouble. But if you're interested, there was a Jawa by the city gate. You'll need a droid to translate, though. I understood the one in the cantina just fine, but then again there was another one in the cantina that I couldn't understand. <sighs> well, then if anything, I guess we could use this droid to talk to the Jawas. Well then let me ask you some questions about this HK-47. Of course, let me just say that every function I've tested has performed perfectly. Those that I could find, anyway. Well, what functions have you tested? I haven't examined its programming, but I have made some observations. It has obvious protocol and translation skills, including Sand People dialects, apparently. Surprisingly, it also handles weapons exceptionally well. I'd even say it's seen combat, but it won't tell. Wow. Stubborn thing. It needs to sell itself better. Two moisture farmers have been in, but it just stood there. He's just standing there. Well, you don't seem to know too much about it, honestly, especially for a droid expert. The unit has been a little uncooperative. They get that way when they go too long without a memory wipe. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it... You can leave it alone if you find its mannerisms amusing. It might be a little eccentric, but it's stable. A little, a little eccentric? Well, why haven't you wiped its memory? I would have, but I can't seem to access any inner circuits. It's definitely built for security and built to last. At any rate, it claims that it doesn't have access to its own memory core anyway. Could be telling the truth. It's hard to say. This is... what kind of droid is this? Well, what does the HK-47 designation mean, exactly? I've never heard of it before. Haven't got a clue. 
It doesn't match any protocol or utility standard. I assume it's a retired model. I tell you to ask the thing yourself, but it's pretty stubborn. Quality construction, though. Hmm. Okay, we'll see just how stubborn this droid is. I, I'll be back in a minute, Mr. Yukalaka. I'm gonna have a little talk with it. Of course, of course. But remember, I'm here. You'll not find another droid like the one I'm selling. Well, you got that right. Yukalaka claims to have a unique droid for sale, one that can apparently even translate the dialect of the Sand People, and that is also combat ready. HK-47 is what it is called. Huh. Well, here he is. He is just standing here. Kinda menacingly. Look at those red eyes. It is quite the droid. Yeah, very unique. I've never seen a droid like this. Greetings. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Well, <laughs> okay. This droid's kind of interesting. Now, I'm not familiar with Sizetech Corporation. What else do they make? Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacturer, that they are a prestigious company indeed. Hmm, yet I've never heard of them. I suspect I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst. Huh. And I am also proficient in personal combat. Personal combat? Why are you keeping information to yourself, droid? Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, oh. or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. That's weird. He wants to be sold so badly, but then... Why did he stay silent when the moisture farmers came in? Well, how do I know you'll be loyal once the restraining bolt is removed? Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. So that's it. This droid wants to fight. Obviously, if he gets sold to moisture farmers, he's not going to have any opportunity to do battle. Probably hardly ever. Huh. A droid that likes fighting. And now why would you assume I'd give you such an opportunity? Extrapolation. You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Huh! It is true, I do love my lightsaber. I really do. Well, doesn't Yuka back there question you about your reluctance to reveal your functions? Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Okay, HK, let me go back to a few of my previous questions. Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. <laughs> this droid really wants to be sold. Well, sell yourself, droid. Why would I need you? Disclosure. I am a versatile protocol and combat droid, fluent in verbal and cultural translation. Should your needs prove more practical, I am also skilled in highly personal combat. Okay, so long story short, this droid, he's a good translator, and he's also good at combat. I mean, I understand a lot of languages, though we might have some trouble with the Jawas. So maybe we'll get him uh, to translate with them, and then on top of it, he's good at fighting. I mean, who knows how good. I mean, he's probably better than T3, at least. T... T3? Fuck you! Okay... Anyway... So you translate. I understand most languages well enough. Extrapolation. Intuitive language comprehension. 
that would be the result of recognition and training of force sensitivity. Your kind have little use of translation droids. Right. Of course, your kind also encounters danger on a far more frequent basis than the average citizen. You would do well to have me work for you then, before someone else makes use of my more exotic functions. Exotic functions. Well, why would you be better than, say, an armored battle droid? Yeah, Beep Bop, Mr. HK Beep. What well, makes you think you're better than me, huh, bitch? Beep Bop. Disclosure. Finesse. Battle droids hold battlefields. I'm capable of eliminating a very specific type of target. He's an assassin droid! No, get the hell out of here. What's an assassin droid doing in a random droid shop on Tatooine? You know, you're beginning to sound like an assassin, HK. Retraction. Droids built for such a function face strict regulation and often have unique difficulties with previous owners. I therefore make no claim to that designation, prospective buyer. Huh. I am a law-abiding droid. Yes, indeed. Law-abiding. That's me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's pretty... Okay, um, <clears throat> you don't sound very convincing. Request, please do not speak so loudly, prospective buyer. Do you truly wish my price to be doubled? Oh, shit, he's right. Mm, we could use an assassin droid, <laughs> if that's what he is. I mean, let's be real, that's definitely what he is. All right, I'll see about purchasing him. Statement. The fool Lithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed, and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Huh. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward, Wha and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. What? Does Yukalaka know you talk about him like this? Statement. I wish only to be purchased, and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. Huh. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you, should you purchase me, please. <laughs> oh my god, this droid is something else. You've spoken to HK-47, a droid eager to be purchased from Yukalaka and Anchorhead. It is a translator and an effective combatant. Hmm. You know what? I th why not? Let's buy him. Let's buy him. Uh, very interesting that he suggested that I threaten Yukalaka, though, to lower the freaking price. I don't know if that'll be necessary. We'll see. Welcome back! Yes, I knew you would return. I still have the droid available. This HK-47 is a good deal. Yeah, buddy, I haven't, haven't really been going that long. So let's talk price. Well, normally I'd give a discount because I hear you're a swoop racer like my brother. What? But times are hard right now. Wait a second. His brother is a swoop racer? Yuka Laka? Yuka Rill? <gasps> He's the brother of the guy we chased out of the swoop registration! Well, shit. God, we, we, uh, oh, we better keep quiet about that. Oh, jeez. It's a very solid machine in good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000 credits. 5,000 credits?! My dude, I think you might want to reconsider uh, the whole Swoop Racer Brother thing, because god damn, I'm not paying that. Could I convince you to lower the price a little bit? 4,000, not a credit less. That was quick. Desperate to sell? Ah, uh, no, not really. But the first figure really was a little high. You never know, the occasional person bites right away. Huh. So he's trying to haggle at me, huh? Perhaps, uh, I could convince you to go just- just a little bit lower, buddy. Just- just a wee bit. Come on, remember, I'm a- I'm a racer, just like your brother. Lower? How low are you expecting me to go? These are difficult times. The debt the droid covered was a large one. Come now, uh, think- think of the advertising you'll get from me. I'll, I'll be going all over saying, hey, check out this droid. I got it from frickin' Yukalaka. I believe you actually would tell people of my business. 
All right, but this is the last offer. 2,500 credits. Okay, 2,500 credits then. I'll pay it. You will? I mean, of course you will. Let me just withdraw those credits. Hey, you weren't lying. Well, thank you very much. Just go on over and talk to it. I'll deactivate the restraining bolt when you take possession. Okay. It's a good purchase, especially if it actually speaks a sand people dialect like it said. Of course, I don't think it was telling me everything. Not many droids are programmed to lie, though. Yeah, not many. Well, thank you and goodbye, Yukalaka. Oh, thank you. Most definitely. Alright. We got him, dude. We, we got HK-47. Oh, boy. You have purchased HK-47 from Yukalaka and Anchorhead. It is apparently able to translate the Sand People dialect as well as handle itself in combat if it is to be believed. It is very reluctant to speak of itself. So what's up, HK? Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. Hmm. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? What? To kill something for me? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. What? At your command, of course, Master. Unadulterated violence? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, alright, travel with me now. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. Oh my, I'm sure they are. Alright, well, we're taking Candorus uh, as we're about to head out into the desert, and he seemed like he knew what he was talking about as far as the desert goes. So for our first trip out, we're taking him. And yeah, we're taking our brand new uh, HK-47 Assassin Droid. Well, combat droid, but let's be real, he's a freaking assassin, you guys know it. So, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's check him out. He's got some level ups. Blaster rifle. Okay, hold on, what's his stats? He's actually got some pretty decent strength, but I guess that's because he's a droid. But I'm guessing he'd be much better with blaster rifles. Wait! The blaster rifle we just got, we could give it to him! Oh, this is perfect! Yeah! How you like that, HK? Another trip! Yeah, it looks good on you, buddy. Oh, sweet. All right, let's do some leveling up on HK here. Wait a second, is he is he on the dark side? What, B but he's a droid. How the hell can he be on the dark side? That doesn't make any sense. I see through the lies of the Jedi. I do not fear the dark side as you do. Right, we're just gonna ignore that for now and uh, keep leveling him up. Skills, looks like he's proficient at repair and demolitions. He's a little bit of a skill monkey, but he doesn't have high intelligence, so he can't put a lot of points into anything. My repair is already pretty good, um, but not my demolition, so let's just get his demolitions up. Droid upgrade class 2. Attributes. Uh, we'll level his dexterity. More demolitions. More demolitions. Okay, now, um, when it comes to blaster rifles, I don't know if blaster rifles benefit from two-weapon fighting. Because they take up two uh, weapons, right? But they're not really two weapons. So I don't know if dueling is better. For now, let's just get him something else. Look, he's already got weapon focus blaster rifle. Yeah, he is meant to use blasters, I'm telling you. All right, we'll give him the improved power blast. Another level, more skills, more demolitions. I guess we'll up his security. All right, that's it. And HK, um... Let's see. Oh, I can, you know what? I can give him that infinite shield that we got from Savam. That's a good idea. We got a droid scope with awareness. Well, you know what? Yukalaka probably sells droid parts as well. Let's see what kind of droid parts we can get for him. I'm gonna get you all kitted out, HK. Just wait. Hello again. It is unfortunate, but I have nothing new in droids to show you right now. Things are very slow. But since you purchased that worn-out HK-47, you'll get excellent prices as soon as I am restocked. Objection. Worn out? Listen, you talentless organic meatbag. Oh. One word from my master and I will pull you apart limb from useless limb. Oh my god. Uh, you've gotten a little hostile there, droid, haven't you? I have always been hostile. Now that I need no longer rely on you and your primitive maintenance skills, I do not need to hide it. Yes, well, just keep away from me then. I'm just an honest businessman. 
Good lord, HK ready to kill this motherfucker. Well, what, uh, what else you got in stock besides droids? You got any droid parts? Ah, uh, looking for droid or swoop bike parts? Mm -hmm. Well, I have a few droid parts, but my swoop bike shipment didn't quite make it in. I swear to God, I, I feel like this game was originally going to have it where you could upgrade your swoop with swoop parts, but then they probably just, you know, threw it out. Because very often people will mention, oh yeah, swoop bike parts and, and things like that, but it's just, that it's just not a thing. It's just not a thing at all in Kotar. Show me what you have. Very well, there's not much at the moment, but it's better than nothing. So heavy plating, uh, this is really good. Defense bonus 10. And it's droid upgrade class 2, which he just got. So 1,500, it's a bit much. But you know what? Th this droid seems pretty damn badass, so we're gonna get it for him. There we go. Bothan Demolitions Probe. This will up his demolitions by 6. Uh, but it's droid upgrade class 3, which we don't have on him yet. We could get this one, but that's another 1,000 credits. I don't want to blow all my freaking money here. Uh, you know, I think I'm good. I think that plating, uh, should be enough. Alright, thanks, Yuka. God, now you be good, HK, alright? I know you didn't like Yukalaka, but that doesn't mean we gotta freaking tear him apart limb from limb. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Right. Um, well, that'll be all, I guess, for now. As you desire, Master. Signing off. He's really interesting. I like him. Alright, get this equipped to him. There we go. Uh, it looks like we got a flamethrower we can give to him, and how about a stun ray? Awareness plus two, and I guess we'll give him the computer probe. Alright, let's get out of here. Let me break out my lightsabers. We gotta get ready to head out into the dunes, boys. Whew, it's gonna be an adventure, I think. Now, there was a Jawa around here we should talk to. Is it you? Uh-huh. Don't think it was him. Is is This is the guy. All right, HK, I'm gonna need you to translate, maybe, so, uh, get ready. God, um, mm -hmm. uh, stupid creature, can't you make more sense? <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, could you be clear? I'm having, you know, a hard time understanding you, my friend. Statement. It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. Huh. What are you saying? What are you saying? What is he saying? <laughs> right, um... Well, why wouldn't I understand your true language? This is the problem for Jawa to have for you. We have the ears, but do not listen. Have the ears, but do not listen. Is that what he said? Okay, well, what is it you want, Jawa? Is I am leader of the tribe that is mine. You're the same kind, a leader that stands before your tribe. There are troubles that we have. The giant has been sent. The horned ghosts that take us away. Horned ghosts that take them away. What, HK, can you help me out here? Translation. 98% probability that members of the Miniature Organics tribe are being held by Sand People Master. Oh. Doubtless, he wishes assistance. Okay. What about the other 2%? Translation. 2% probability that the Miniature Organic is simply looking for trouble and needs to be blasted. What? That may be wishful thinking on my part, Master. What? <laughs> what is with this droid, man? <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> So, is is uh, what do you want me to do exactly? I've been on my ass in the great group that digs with machines. Now, is is as you. I ask that you find us, and then bring away the people of Sam. They will offer a trade with you. Offer a trade? Long have we served. Among you and those I came before, we have things you would like from the service. Okay, many things will like. So, if we save his people from the Sand people, he's offering to help us. Hey, uh, Candrus, you think you think you could uh, point that thing elsewhere, man? Like, good lord! Candrus, give me a little scratch, scratch right now with his vibra blade. Why have they taken your people? They find things and they use them. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. They need a weapon, Kathy. The group that digs, we trade, and are free. The people of Sand, we serve and die. We prefer you. Okay, so they're basically slaves to the Sand people. Uh, a few more questions, all right? Okay, so uh, tell me where your people are exactly. Maybe I'll help. You know the sand, the sand. There's a place in the far south where I live. The sand people enclave. 
Okay, so not only are we looking for Griff in the Sand People Enclave, but apparently now <laughs> this little dude's people have been taken as well. All right, I'll check it out when I leave the city. Goodbye. Isis has asked you help rescue members of his tribe from the Sand People Enclave. He will reward you well for any help given. Hopefully he can reward us with some information on the location of the star map, right? Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. Hmm, well we gotta head to that enclave anyway and beat up some sand people ass. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We are literally about to head out into the dunes. In the next one, that's what we're doing. So expect an action-packed freaking episode, guys. We got HK, we got Candorous, two of the most badass motherfuckers in all of freaking Kotar. We're gonna be laying down the waste on the sand people. You better, you better believe them sand people ain't gonna know what hit them! Tell them, HK! Acknowledgement! Thanks so much for joining me guys for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as always, for more outstanding Let's Plays. And until the next one, me, HK, and Candy, we'll catch y'all later. Peace out, Box Bros.